light on my feet. I have something to ask. Heavens, what's the hold up? I dare say the wait is shorter in the city of judgment. Oh, wave mother, queen of the depths, hear me. Please carry Holly to her final rest in the deep wilds. Please. Sorry. Are you here for a wave servant Holly's funeral? Oh, it's already started out the just inside. Yes. Oh, please, you're most welcome. We have much to be thankful for. May the wave mother smile on you as she did Holly. I thought it wise to make an offering to the Sea Queen before sailing out tomorrow. Wasn't expecting to find the servants so preoccupied. Sorry, mate. No time to chat. Just here to make an offering, then leave. In and out, yeah? The celebration is in the main chamber. Praise unbelief! For this injustice, leave its master a bloated carcass in the spume. Rejoice, sisters. For Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss, her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow, sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless garths and bursting flesh. You, supplicant, what tribute do you bring to honor the Wave Mother's fallen daughter? A fine offering. Always appreciated in the eyes of the Wave Mother. Your tribute is well received. Breathe deep as she permits. We are celebrating an act of divine mercy. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare her an ignoble death. But her passing was not as the Wave Mother intended. It was a beast who took her life. An unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly. A wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. The bee struck Holly. While she was swimming in Grey Harbor, she was found by some fishermen. She would have suffered a terrible, agonizing death had Umberly not bestowed upon her the mercy of drowning. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her, and her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. <laughs> that privilege is not yours to earn. We haven't found its lair as yet. Perhaps you can find where the beast takes its slumber and skewer it before it wakes. 
kiss your brow. We await your return and the Beastmaster's demise. Rejoice as the Wave Mother welcomes another daughter to the deep wilds. Know that we too shall go. Gladly... Oh, Umberly, hear us. Umberly, bring your daughter home. I long for such a beautiful death. Furious and merciful, Umberly. Hands off the drinks. We have enough to fill Grey Harbour. It's all for the funeral. Are you sure that's the best? Confirmed. I wasn't expecting it. All right. So The oil's gone. Hells, it's... I don't suppose you've got any experience getting oil out of sealed wood. Of course not. You've been talking to that lot from the Water Queen's house, haven't you? Now, did you want something, or do you just have an interest in fishing vessels? Ah, oh, sure. In fact, we fished her out of the water. Me and Fleer here were out on the water casting our nets, expecting to find the usual crop of halibut. Then, all of a sudden, my net starts dragging, and there's a bloody wave serving all twisted up in it. We took her back to the docks to try and help her, but she was already dead. And the other wave servants came to get it. They're her. Sorry. They took her back to the temple. You can hear the bloody caterwauling from here. We both saw some sort of wake moving towards the docks when we picked her up. But there weren't any other boats around. Maybe it was something big moving underwater. I don't know. It was weird, whatever it was. Kinda looked like it might have been heading towards that building across the channel. Actually. Bugger if I know. Might be something to do with all that oil in the water. It's too bad we can't sell them. Bloody waste, if you ask me. The boat's fine, but the nets are in tatters. Need to deal with all this oil before we can fix them, though.
not in here. Slim Cargo, all imports and exports duly handled in accordance with the Trades Act as decreed by the Council. baby. Let's move.
shouldn't have made me your enemy. <laughs> Anything of use? Swift as my feet can carry me. Let's see. Do the trick. Over than through. Oi! What's this? You ain't supposed to be down here, mate. You spot a curious metal contraption in the water. A submersible. I am here for Duke Older Ravenguard. Show me the way! The Duke? I mean, if you see him, let him know I'm down for a drink. But he ain't here. Which begs the question, what are you bloody doing down here? The only port in this whole bleeding city that matters. Now, why are you here? Did Gortas send you? Well, let me guess. This is about them Umbly servants. You tell them to stay out of the way. Cap needs the right of way. He can't stop on a dime when they go darting in front of the prow. Bloody salt is always flopping around in the water. I've almost hit one or two now. Might have even nicked one off the port bow the other day. Maybe they'll teach them to keep out of the way. This big boy, the captain of Grey Harbor. Built him with my own two hands. Can take the passage between here and the Iron Throne faster than you can say, fuck the absolute. Nothing without Lord Gortash's go ahead. I transport whoever he needs taken to the Iron Throne. Prisoners, mostly, but that's his business. It's an underwater prison, most secure in the realms. Myself and Cap are the only ones who can make it there in one piece. Lord Gortash keeps some Gondians there. Collateral to keep those working in the Steelwatch Foundry under control. Older Ravenguard is here. He must be. If he is, that's Lord Gortash's business. I don't ask questions.
Oh, yeah? And are you here to make good on that? And you're the judge, jury, and executioner, is that it? Yeah, right. Say goodbye, kid. I'm not gonna like this, mate. The blade will not bend. Let's talk. Moving in. What's hiding here? On the beast responsible for this injustice. Leave its master. A Is it done? Have you slain the beast master? Umberly smiles on us all. Thank you for enacting her blessed vengeance. May the tides crush his bones to sand. As promised, the Wave Mother rewards those who submit to her will. May the seas be as kind as you deserve.
All's well, I hope. Aside from the ob- If you're sure. Fine. Can't slow down. Already feeling better. The cub speaks. As you wish. This ought to be good. Looking ahead. Oh. 